Welcome back to the Restless Recluse. It is a dark and stormy night in Port Renfrew, and I'm out at a bridge project where we will be doing some pile driving. The work's happening at night uh, because of traffic volume issues during the day, and it's the first night of the project, so it'll be a slow start, but hopefully an uneventful one. Stick with me, and we'll uh, run you through some of the works of the project as it occurs, and you probably won't see too much because it's dark, but that won't stop me from monologuing. It'll be a short video, but hopefully an interesting one for you. So X marks the spot where the new steel piles go in, sandwiching the timber bent, which will eventually get removed once the steel piles are in along with the new caps. So we're just moving the crane into position and then we'll be dropping the hammer right there on those two and those two. The flagging that you see hanging down there that marks the delineation for the power lines that are overhead. So it's slow going and not a lot of radicals swinging around here. Two of the piles off loaded on the flat deck, and now we're bringing the crane back down to lift the piles and position them into place. Racing is in the way, so it needs to get removed. Attach the vibro hammer to the crane. And now we slip it over the end of the pile.
So the two steel piles are embedded a meter and a half via the vibro hammer. And now we're switching to the kinetic drop hammer, which weighs 6,200 pounds to drive the piles in the remaining depth. They've got to hit, at the very least, the 10 meter mark up there. For penetration. And so far they're in a meter and a half. So here you can see the caps being positioned on top of the pile. And then we're setting it up so we'll have an eight foot drop with the hammer and track the number of blows per meter to get an idea of soil consistency. Two piles are now driven down to a depth of 10 meters with the idea being that once they are spanned by two more on the other side of the bridge and joined up with caps then the rotten wooden bands in the middle can be gotten rid of. Thanks for joining me in this video. Like I said, short and sweet. Um, next one will be hosted direct from Texada Island. Uh, so I've only got nine working days left and then I'll retire and move there permanently. So thanks for watching.